my content is going to be changing a little bit. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a YouTube behind the scenes video. I figured this would be kind of fun because you guys will be seeing a couple new different things on my channel in the next, well, from here on out, I guess. And the reason why is because my hard drive broke, which is really, really sad. I should have kept backups of things, but I didn't. Your actions need consequences. Yeah, this is this is the consequence, I guess, of putting everything all in one place. So basically what happened is I was working in my home office in the room next door. I was moving from my home office into here because my home office is where I do my like work work internship. This YouTube channel is not my job. And so I was gonna go from doing my work work to like my YouTube hobby work. And as I was moving my laptop from one room to another, my hard drive was apparently still attached and it fell and broke. And so now I have no access to anything anymore. Even my like intro and outro little animations and things, all of my little graphics that come up on the screen, all of it's just gone. So I was like, you know what? It's an omen. We're going to rebrand just a little bit, just a little bitty bit a bit because I still like my branding, but it just needs a refresh and I was planning on doing it anyway. So this is kind of like an unintentional, intentional rebrand. I think I have a little bit of an idea of what I wanna do, but I still wanna search through Pinterest just for a little bit, just to get some inspiration, maybe find some more updated color palettes. My color palette lately, I love it, but it's also a little bit dark. So I wanna be able to update it. So I'm going to go into Pinterest first and find some color palettes and say, of the colors and stuff so that I can use it for the rest of my branding. So let's go on a Pinterest adventure. As you can see, I have a very particular color palette, but the question is, which one do I run with? I wanna make it a little bit brighter. It looks a little bit dark right now. So I don't really know. Maybe I'll do like pastel, something like this one maybe? Don't really know. I want the teal to be still my main color because it's my favorite color ever, but I don't really know if I want to be like a pinky teal color, sort of like Vanellope Von Schweetz. If you've seen Wreck-It Ralph, that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Or do I want to do something a little bit more muted, like maybe, I don't know, this one? Got a little bit more of a peachy undertone to it. I don't know. I guess I'll just pick one and run with it or pick a couple and then try out colors as I'm doing some design work and seeing which one works. This is going to be the color palette. You probably are thinking, but it looks so similar. But to me, it's completely different. It looks very light and a lot more, I don't know, toned down than my original color palette. So I think this is going to be the colors that we use for now. We might change them later. Now that I have colors picked out, I'm gonna go into Canva, which is where I make all of my designs for my channel, as well as like my wallpapers and things for my like desktop and stuff. I actually have a video of that from way, way, way back when that I can link in the description and the cards because this stuff is so relevant. I still do that same stuff. So go and watch it if you want some insight on how I make my like wallpapers and things. But I'm going to go through Canva Canva because they have some updates that I didn't know that they had when I was perusing through here a couple days ago and they actually have like a YouTube intro template so that's gonna be really easy I want to remake my intro and outro first because that's like the biggest thing that I like need like right now you can just go into create a design and then I have it here because I was sort of perusing through here but if you go to the social media section it's just like right here so that's pretty cool. We'll go into YouTube intro and it's blank right now, but they also have templates. And I found one a couple days ago that I actually really think would be helpful. If I can find it. Oh yeah, it's this little bunny one. We'll click that guy, open it up. And it looks like this and it's so cute. So I figured I could put my little logo that's down in the corner. It, it's right there. <laughs> but I figured I'd put my logo here and then my channel name here. And I think it would just be kind of fun. I think my current one with the typing is a little bit too long now. So I'm going to time up through me sort of recoloring this and maybe inserting my new logo here. Okay, I might be obsessed. 
it's like 9 p.m. right now, but I have just been in a really creative mood lately and I have some ideas on what to do for some graphics for the channel. So I think what I'm going to do now is make the outro like end card picture. It needed some love. It was a little weird looking and I've had it for like a year now. So it's time for an upgrade anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is reuse some of the elements from my intro in my outro. So like maybe the sparkles and the color gradient and then just sort of rearrange things so that when I put my pictures and the end cards and things at the end of the video it all fits a little better because it didn't really fit very well in like the past thing that I had for my animation. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna fast forward through it because you saw me make a little bit of it when I was making the intro. And Canva also has templates for the outros too. So I'm just going to take a template from there, a very simple one, and then just replace some of the elements. I came up with. Pretty simple and easy and I like it a lot more than my old one. So we have intro and outro finished. For today's segment of this unintentional but also intentional rebrand, we are going to be making some animations for the like little graphics that come up in the middle of videos and stuff. So the subscribe button I already actually made and technically I didn't even make it. I just found it on Canva. We're back in Canva for this and I found this little template and I was like oh it's perfect. I'm just gonna use it so that's what I'm gonna do but I'm also going to replace some elements and make some social media animations too like my Instagram and my lemonade pretty much those two things because I don't have TikTok or Twitter or anything else like that so I'm gonna go through this real fast it probably won't take more than a couple minutes and make the rest of my little social media animations so this is what the subscribe button looks like. I just found this little animation of the bell in the template and then just used the rest of the stuff in the template and color coded it a little bit to match my branding. And so now what I'm going to do is replace this little bell and the text with whatever icon or channel it is. So I'm gonna use this Instagram thing here, make it roughly the same size of the circle and then delete the circle thing here. There's the finished product. Pretty easy and simple. The lighting in here is not ideal, but right now we are in my home office, aka the attic that has a desk and a computer set up. Right now I'm interning, but my day just finished for the day, so I figured I would take the time while I'm just sitting here and give you guys a little bit of a change of scenery. We're going to make my new channel banner for my YouTube channel. I've been doing this throughout the last week or so, and the channel banner is gonna be something that really pulls everything together. So we're gonna go back into Canva again and make my new channel banner. Canva also has a template for YouTube banners, so I'm gonna see what they have. I do also know that depending on the screen size of wherever you're viewing my channel from, things will show in different places. So I want to make sure that everything is like sort of right smack dab in the center of the whole template so that should you be watching on a desktop versus a phone versus a tablet or something, everything still looks the same. Obviously the sparkling parts of this banner will not actually happen once it's uploaded, but the sparkles will still be in the background. So I still wanted that little element because I love me some sparkles as we can probably tell by now. But this is what the channel banner looks like now. So I'm going to export this as an image instead of a video and then upload it and see what it looks like. So this is what all of them looks like side by side. Down here we have my iPad tablet 
And then we have my mobile device. So everything seems to be in frame. Everything's lined up really nicely. So I really, really love this. Now I just have to change my channel trailer because even though this video is going semi-viral for me, it's old branding. So as we can tell by the intro here, I might have to change it. It'll just depend on what happens in the next couple days for like views and things. So now all of the stuff that's like external, all of the little graphics, all of the little pretty things on the outside are finished. We're all sort of refreshed and squared away on that front. But I want to talk about what's within the channel, my content. I'm gonna give you a brief history lesson on my channel because then you're gonna really realize why my content is gonna be changing a little bit. The idea behind this channel was to basically document my college life post COVID. It was a year after COVID really started to die down a little bit, 2021, no. 2022. So it was after everything sort of dissipated a little bit, all of the mask mandates were gone. Like that was the time where things started to really get back to normal. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to classes and things like that. I could totally vlog this. And so I did for a long time. We had to change locations because my house currently doesn't have power because somebody, I guess, hit a power line in an accident. So whoever you are, I hope you're okay. But my house currently has no power. And because it's still light outside, I decided to come into the room with the most light, a lot of mirrors and things like that. So we're in my parents' like closet, bathroom, powder room type of thing. So anyways, back to what I was saying. About a month into having my YouTube channel, I decided to make a collection video because I was obviously on spring break, so I couldn't make regular college content. And so I was like, oh, a collection video would be kind of fun. I do have an obsession with body care stuff. And so I made a Bath and Body Works collection video. It was a half an hour long. It was the longest video I've ever made. It had like two hours of footage before I cut it down. It has about 6.7 thousand views right now, which is a lot for me at least. For somebody with 466 subscribers, it's kind of a lot. And so I was like, oh, people really love this content. I'm going to make more of it. And so I made more and more and more. And that was my entire summer, just body care content, because I didn't have any college content to even go off of. So that summer, that was basically all that I was doing. However, once college started again, I realized, oh, I don't have my whole collection with me, so I can't just pull things out and talk about them like I used to. So to make up for it, I would have to either go and buy something online or do like a shop with me at Ulta instead because they don't have Bath and Body Works near me at school. And it was just a whole thing. And so after about six months of me doing solely Bath and Body Works stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm burnt out. <laughs> I started my channel on college content and that's I think what my channel is going to be moving forward. Even though the college vlogs are going to be my main priority from here on out, I still want to incorporate the body care and hygiene sort of videos within the vlogs. So I'm not leaving you guys behind. We're still going to have some body care content in there. It's just going to be like, here's a week in my life. We're gonna go shopping on this date. I'm gonna give you a haul. Or here's what my everything shower routine looks like using my Project Use It Up products. Like it's not gonna be a super duper, like sit down, here's my products. Here's what I used. Here's the notes for them. Like it's not gonna be quite like that anymore. I just want to give you guys a heads up and I'm definitely expecting to lose followers over this, lose subscribers, but it's something that I've been trying to pull myself, pull the trigger for a very, very long time, like maybe three or four months at this point. I've just kind of been writhing with the facts that like, but people like this content and I wanna make this content, but it doesn't really ever do very well. And I just wanna remember, like I started this as a passion project. This is a fun thing for me and it should be fun. It shouldn't be something that I'm doing because of the people that are watching the videos because as much as I love you guys and I love that you watch my content, I want to make stuff that I love too, not just for what you love. So that's sort of the reason why my content is going to be changing a little bit. I really hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with this and if you don't and you're not really into any sort of vlogs or anything like that, feel free to unsubscribe. I will not be offended at all. I will be sad that you're leaving, but I'm not going to expect that people who love my Bath & Body Works content will love my vlog content, even though it has Bath & Body Works sprinkled in. So I just want to say that, yeah, we are done with my like unintentional, but also intentional rebrand. This was the intentional part of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of a behind the scenes of my YouTube channel, as well as my own rambling thoughts. So if you did like this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. If you listen to my rambling, I really appreciate it. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.